Aries, hello. Welcome to Born of the Rose. And uh, checking out your little love message here. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, mm -mm, and Venus sign. Have a sip of tea. Hang on a sec. Mm. This is a collective reading for the sign of Aries. So if you have Aries in your natal chart and any of those placements, this reading may be for you. Um, your sun sign, that's your spiritual self, your higher self, your soul's path, or so they say. The moon sign, that's your emotional body. And your rising sign is your physical body, your physical you. And uh, your Venus sign, that's going to affect your love and romance. Um, your take on the beautiful and how you approach it. And as an Aries, you approach it very directly. You uh, tend to say what you want, and you like that in your person as well, typically speaking. Um, so these are general, well, these aren't general. These are love messages. That's what we're going for here. That's the primary focus of these readings, of this particular reading. <clears throat> I'm having a really tricky time talking. And that word tricky seems to be right for me. So, Aries, are you having a hard time um, communicating something to someone? Um, or maybe someone that's interested in you is having a hard time communicating themselves. Are you feeling blocked? Because, like, my throat, as soon as I started this recording, my throat chakra got all <coughs> walked up. And um, the words just, you know, if that made sense, you know. Anyway, let's get into this reading, shall we? Spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our Aries Collective as it pertains to love and romance for this week. What's going on for Aries and love this week, Spirit? Let's look at the overall theme. So this will be their inside world energy, Spirit. What's the overall theme in love and romance for our Aries Collective this week? Spirit, those two cars just want to jump. Want to jump, jump. You know what I'm saying? They want to jump. This one does. Got it. Okay, where is it? Hoo hoo! Ah, Knight of Swords. Could be an air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or it's just very fast communication. The Knight of Swords is one of the fastest energies in the deck. You could be getting a phone call, okay? Someone wants to communicate with you, and maybe they're really excited about it, and that could be that whole throat chakra thing that I was experiencing. Spirit, let's, what more can we say about this? Or maybe you want to communicate, since this is your inside world energy overall theme. There's communication. The needs or wants happened, happening. Okay. Okay. Justice. Balancing the scales. Bringing justice into a situation with someone. Is that what's going on? Aries, you're feeling the need to communicate with someone to bring clarity or justice to a situation? I feel that. I dig it. I'm all about that. And what else can we say about this overall theme, Spirit? This quick communication to bring justice and a page of pentacles the page of pentacles is an offering of something solid tangible real okay aries i like it hmm spirit what are the energies that are coming towards our aries collective in love through this week what do we have going on coming towards our Aries Collective? Five of Pentacles. Feeling of being left out. Feeling of not having enough. Okay, if you notice, she's got her head down between her knees and she's really, you know, sullen in the situation. She has the key to the door. She's got to do is look up and see the key, and she can set herself free from that energy. 
just saying. The option is there. So there might be coming, there might be someone or coming towards you that they don't even realize they have the key. Hmm. And what can we say about this energy coming towards our Aries collective spirit? Seven of Swords. This is liar, thief. They're doing it strategically. I was just being strategic. You, you freaking lied, man. Don't tell me you're just being strategic. You hid the truth. And that could also be where this justice is concerned. Or you're wanting justice. Could be because of some Seven of Swords bullshit. That's what, you know, where I'm from, around my way, we call that bullshit. Yeah. And the Hanged Man. Could be a Pisces. Or it could be someone who has gotten a new perspective on the situation. And now they want to come forward towards you and go, oh, wow, I can't believe I actually did that thing. Just be careful with what they're saying. Trust your intuition. If it doesn't feel like the truth to you, Aries, you don't have to buy it. You don't. And it's ironic because earlier this week when I did the weekly message for Aries, I was called to go into this whole spiel about the truth. Because um, as an Aries, that's something that we really value is communicating the truth. So you may want to go back and watch that reading, the weekly reading from this week. Just saying. I don't know. Spirit, are there any potential challenges or blocks for our Aries Collective through this week in love as it pertains to love? Spirit, what do we got? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Air sign, feminine, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone who's embodying these qualities. She's very eloquent. She's a good talker. Okay. She also can wield the truth like that sharpened sword. Um, yeah. Okay. Spirit, this is a crossing energy we're looking at. So how is the Queen of Swords a potential crossing energy for our Aries Collective? Ah, the moon. Ah, very funny. Um, the moon is that unseen energy. It's that if you step outside at night under the full moon, you can see. You don't see color. Shadows are exaggerated. Things aren't exactly as they appear. So that Queen of Swords energy, she's very eloquent with her speech and she can be very crafty. If she's in a low vibrational energy, she can spin a yarn that you'll think is a sweater. And you go to pick it up and it's really just a pile of yarn that hasn't been knitted yet. So, that could be a crossing energy for you. Anything else, Spirit, on this crossing energy for the Aries Collective this week? Ace of Swords. Again, this is about thoughts and communication. That, and with the moon present, it's thoughts and communication that aren't exactly true. That aren't exactly as they appear. It's a better way to put it. Not exactly as it appears. Okay. Spirit, what advice would you give to our Aries Collective for their highest and best? To get the most out of the situation in this now moment. What advice do you have for Harry's Collective Spirit? The devil. Okay. The devil. I'm going to see what the other cards are for the advice before I say what I think Spirit means with that. What else you got there, Spirit? How else can you explain this advice so I can... You got to tell me so I can tell them in a way that I can communicate. Death, rebirth. Okay. It's making more sense to me now. Anything 
else? Spirit, you want to say? You want to add to that? No, going once, going twice. Okay, those two cards stuck together, Spirit. I said uno card, mas. Uno mas. Uno. Uno. Uno mas, Spirit. Just one more. Just one more. It's a multitude. Spirit keeps trying to hand me like three or four cards at a time. No, 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 it's not the one. What do we got here, Spirit? Please. We can say it in a card. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Eight of Cups walking away. The Devil, which is a card about codependency, obsession, addiction. The death is death and rebirth. It's bringing an end to a situation. And the Eight of Cups is walking away from what doesn't serve you. The Spirit's saying there is a codependent situation here that you're feeling addicted to. You feel, oh, it's God, it's toxic. Oh, the sex is amazing, but God, it's toxic. Um, and the Spirit's saying, you're kind of walking away from its best bet. It's your best option right now. Whew. Okay. Well, that was good. It got heavy pretty quick. Um, but that's that's what it is. Um, anyway, that's what I have for you. If this message resonated for you and you got something out of this, please do a thumbs up or something. Give us something back to a brother. Um, I hope that if it resonated for you that these messages are useful. And I'm... If you want a private one-to-one -one reading with me, reach out to me on Instagram. Iron Rose Alchemist is my handle over there. It'll be in the uh, description box below. Yeah. That's what I got for you, my friends. From my heart to yours, I send you love, I send you peace. I hope you have a beautiful week, Aries. Take care.